I'm Dr. Steve Shaw Jie Tan. I'm the president of Fatio Inc. I had worked for American Bureau of Shipping, ABS in short, for 14 years, from 1997 to 2011, as a research engineer for ship motion studies. My work at ABS, I participated in three official investigations of ship accident at sea for ship motion and wave load analysis. Today, I'm going to show you another possible physics that could also cause low-low ship golden ray to capsize in a very benign environment. Although unstable loading could cause golden ray to capsize, for example, not enough writing energy, cargo shifting, or down flooding through open doors, all these issues are static stability related. Today, I'm going to show you that without any of these issues, golden ray could also be easily capsized by a phenomenon, which is a new scientific discovery I have made recently. It is called nonlinear instability. Since the golden ray capsized in a very benign environment, its rotational dynamics can be modeled by these equations for rho, pitch, and yaw motions under calm water and rudder control. These equations represent a dynamical system which assumes that golden ray is a rigid body in a perfect operating condition without any issue of static stability. There are no external loads in rho and pitch directions. The only external load is from the rudder. This term represents the load from the rudder during capsizing. The load in the rectangular frame are the nonlinear inertial coupling loads, which are generic for any rigid body dynamics. I call them elephant because I have proved that these loads are very important and could cause catastrophic event in certain conditions. That conditions are summarized below. Golden ray is assumed to be in a loading condition so that its yaw moment of inertia to be intermediate, meaning that it is larger than rho moment of inertia, smaller than pitch moment of inertia. Because golden ray is tall and narrow, this is the cross section of a golden ray. Then this dynamical system will have a conditionally unstable yaw phenomenon. That phenomenon says that if yaw frequency equals the summation of rho and pitch natural frequencies, and at the same time, its yaw amplitude exceeds a threshold given by this formula, then golden ray will have rho and pitch resonances simultaneously. I have summarized all the analytical, numerical, and experimental proofs for that phenomenon in this book, and I published it in October 2018. <coughs> to better understand that phenomenon, I made this device. It is a ship model. It has three degrees of freedom in rho, pitch, and yaw, with restoring and damping in rho and pitch just like a golden ray. It rotates above its center of gravity. More importantly, its yaw moment of inertia is the intermediate one, just like a golden ray. So these are the common equations for that ship model. Similar like a golden ray, there are no external loads in row and pitch directions. The only external load is from my hand in yaw direction. This term represents the load from my hand. These equations are almost identical with the governing equations for golden ray, except that golden ray has added masses, represented here by A1, A2, A3, because golden ray was in water while this ship model doesn't. Since A1, A2, A3 do not appear in the formulas here, Therefore, they are not important for this phenomenon. So we have identical formulas 
for these two ships for this unstable phenomenon. We observe that both ships has the identical elephant. This elephant represents the nonlinear inertial coupling loads, which are generic for any rigid body dynamics. Let me show you first what this elephant can do by using this block, which is also a rigid body. These are the Gamma equations for that block under toggle-free condition. This block is a scaled-down model from a container ship in a certain loading condition. Its yaw moment of inertia is intermediate one. It is only 3% smaller than its pitch moment of inertia, but 22 times larger than its roll moment of inertia. Then, this block will have an unconditionally unstable yaw phenomenon. This phenomenon says that the elephant always transfer energy and angular momentum from yaw to row and pitch. Let me demonstrate this phenomenon. I will rotate this block in yaw direction and let it free fall from the screw. I will show the test in normal speed first, then in slow motion. When this block falls free from the screw, it keeps rotating in yaw direction. Meanwhile, it always transfers energy from yaw to row and lands on the bottom sideways. And now we have a challenging question. The question is, if that elephant can transfer energy from yaw to row for a rigid body, why we did not see ship keep size every day since all ships are rigid bodies? I have an answer for that question in the book. The answer is Mother Nature using the restoring and damping in row and pitch directions of ships to hide that elephant, but only to certain degrees. That means that is the limit. Within that limit, that elephant disappears. But beyond that limit, that elephant comes out to play. Let me show you this phenomenon. I can rotate this ship like this. Nothing on your own happens. I can rotate the ship like this. Nothing on your own happens because what I did to the ship were within that limit. But if I go beyond that limit, this is what happened. The ship capsized immediately and easily. 